like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all, I'm back with another flashback. This video features Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God. Guys, I am still working on re-uploading all of my content back onto YouTube, adding my commentary so that I can meet the YouTube guidelines. This is why you guys are seeing so many flashbacks from my channel. However, I can assure you that I'm staying on top of everything happening within Carbonation. Guys, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. That shit crazy. How does bitch sit here? I don't know who she trying to do this for, though. These people are all trolls. Everybody in your chat was hating on you when you was fighting Malia, when Malia whipped your ass. So how the fuck is you going to sit here and sit here and think these people care about you? These people don't care about you. They care about what you can tell them about me. Little ass girl's not interested enough. She's not interesting enough. She's not to hold my attention. In order for a man to be monogamous, he would have to be with a woman that interests his mind completely, completely submerges his mind. Like, you're not that interesting, my nigga. You're a little girl. You're jealous. Your insecurities make me itch. I'm allergic to insecurities in a woman. Like, like when a woman's around me, like as beautiful as you are, why are you so insecure, my nigga? Like, if you're that beautiful, then you know you're beautiful. She had low self-esteem, my nigga, and that shit was making me itch. I don't like that. And that's what made me feel like, even when we was alone together, I know how she is. And I always felt like, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I maybe can be monogamous, but I haven't found a woman to really capture my- I'ma keep it a whole stack with y'all. I honestly believe that Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, has not found a woman who he can be monogamous with because he wants a man. I maybe can be monogamous, but I haven't found a woman to really capture my mind in that way. You know what I'm saying? And I like polygamy for political reasons, you know what I'm saying, as far as building my own world and in building my own world, having multiple children and you know, creating dynasty from that. I like the idea of, of that for myself and my world. And she knew that when she first came here. That's how I was when she first pulled up. That's how I am. I wasn't trying to be nothing that I'm not. And y'all told her that on live. Y'all told her herself. Y'all said, he's a polygamous man. Y'all gave her advice. Y'all said, pick up your crown and just do what you need to do. You already know how he is. Y'all said it to her on live. And she was like, I know, I know. And if she wanted to leave, y'all sit here and play like, y'all don't know this girl, and we wasn't, we haven't had real nigga moments with Nana over and over and over again. Y'all know who Nana is. Y'all sat here and watched her go fucking live on some shit and fucking, yo, what the fuck? The, the crocodile tears, oh, he would hit me, and he made us walk around neck. I didn't make you walk. I don't make people do shit. What in the fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? These people. <sighs> Bruh, this bitch said I made her walk around naked around the baby and I took the baby away from her? What the fuck? I'm hella protective when it comes to my daughter. I don't even play that. I don't even play that. My daughter had to be around her more than anything. I didn't... Yo, at, yo after... I was mad at Efru because Efru wasn't watching my daughter, right? Nigga, like... And if you want to be honest with, with, with everything, when she wanted time with me, she would ask the woman to get the baby so she could spend time with me, like... This woman don't give a fuck about nothing but wanting to be with me and me only. And she want to be with a man and that man only. But you got to understand one thing. She's looking for a nigga to be me. If a nigga ain't me, it's going to be hell and hot water. And I hope that she continue to go public so you can see her with another nigga. It don't matter, my nigga. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a dominant male. I like shit my way or the highway. I don't like people that don't agree with me. I'm a very honest and upfront pr brother. I'm not hiding nothing from no one. This is who the fuck I am online. I'm the same person in real life. You see how I treat women online? That's how I treat a bitch in real life as she get out of line. But at the end of the day, if you cool with me, we cool. But if we not, fuck you. Get the fuck away from me. Get out my chat and get the fuck out my life. I never want to keep, keep a bitch here because she don't want to be here. Bitch, you better get the fuck out of here. You better get the fuck out of here all the way. Bitch, we told Nateri to leave. Uh, Earth to leave, bitch star leave, all these hoes, I told them to leave my life. 
I would never sit here and try to make a bitch stay here because I or over her will. What the fuck? What the fuck I look like, man? All right, y'all. Go on ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. Nigga, you know how many women I get? The fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? I put these bitches through... Uh, initiation to even get to me. You got to be fucking out your mind and think I'm going to hold on to a bitch. I try to hold on to my daughter for sure. For sure. Because she keep going back and forth and back and forth. And every time she get upset, she running out the door in the middle of the cold. One time she ran out into the middle of the cold with my daughter. I'm like, hey, what the fuck is you doing? Like, put my daughter down. She get in her motions and don't know how to think, my nigga. This girl, yo, y'all know her, yo. Y'all know her. Y'all been rocking me for years. Y'all know what the fuck this girl on, bro. Y'all know this bitch sitting here lying, my nigga. Because she sat there in front of Earth online. Now she fucking with Earth. She told Earth, we got the video. We got the footage. She literally told Earth. And then one day I'm sitting here at the table. And she's arguing with... Uh, remember, I'm sitting at the table in Mexico. And she's arguing with... Uh, what's her name? Honor. Remember, I had my I had it on my face. She's arguing with Honor. Bro, this shit, she she's sitting here saying, Oh, I had to play the role. Bitch, she was a lie. I guess you was fake coming too, huh? I guess I had you fake squirting all over the place, huh? I guess you was sucking on my dick. I guess I made you do that, huh? Get the fuck out of here, yo. You was a liar, yo. We was in the States, you could have bounced. You could have bounced just like you bounced. You bounced here. What you mean you was waiting for your mama? You bounced, bitch. Anytime. Oh, my God, bro. That's crazy, bro. I was trying to hang on to my daughter because every time she would get upset, she would do random shit like get mad. And this bitch would leave in the middle of the night and hike up a fucking mountain. We be living like in the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, yo, you're not about to leave with my daughter in the middle of the night. Yo, man, calm down. We could we could get you a flight tomorrow. Relax. We'll talk about getting a flight tomorrow. Relax. Do this shit the right way. She want to randomly leave in her emotions. And you know what I'm saying? And like every time she, one time she left and um she left and she was on a Greyhound with no food and shit. I had to call my nigga up and, and had, he had to meet her in Atlanta in the, on the Greyhound. First she told me she's on a train train and i'm like okay you not on the train because i can hit an amtrak i can hit a fucking um greyhound and she's on a greyhound and shit with my daughter on a fucking dirty ass greyhound knowing damn well i would never put my daughter on no fucking dirty ass greyhound and the bitch i had to call my man in atlanta to come through and give her uh, uh and give her money so she can get something to eat you feel what i'm saying i'll be doing things in a certain way i move in a certain way doggy she want to move in a moment and be irrational. And I'm like, nah, my nigga, if you want to leave, that's bad. Leave. But this chick don't want to leave me. All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True. Many of you know him as True. He is an ex-carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. I know she love me, dog. Like she did she if she wanted to leave, she wouldn't get online. She wouldn't come back online. If she wanna leave me alone, why are you online again? If you so afraid of me, but you sitting there lying, my nigga, you lying. You lying, and y'all know she lying, dog. I just I had to get that off my chest. That's amazing. Like, you know what I'm saying? As far as us walking around naked, we always walk around naked. I'm a nudist. That's what I do. I, I walk around naked. That's what I do. I, 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 that's what I do. I, if I don't have my robe on online, I'm walking around naked. I'm walking around. I'm naked right now. Nigga, like, uh, yeah, I get banned for being naked. Nigga, I'm always naked. And she was always naked with me. Go back, 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 back and watch this girl. She been with me forever. I raised her from 19 to 23. I raised this girl. This girl's been with me from since 19. She say nothing fucking new. I'm the same nigga. I ain't change up. Nigga, I've been the same nigga. And when you cut back, I've been the same nigga. Same nigga from day one. Nigga, I'm the same nigga. You keep leaving. You keep coming back. I've been the same nigga. So if I'm that dangerous, why you keep coming back? You really want to come back now, Slick. Because you realize it ain't shit out there. You can't replace a nigga like me. You cannot replace a nigga like me because I'm one of a kind. 
And you could try to get a nigga all you want and waste your time, but you're going to always end up back online. You're going to always end up back playing yourself. You're going to hit me up. Eventually, you're going to see ain't nothing out there. That's why you got online, because your life is not all that. Your life is boring. Without me, your life ain't shit. That's why you got online to get attention again, because you couldn't have a life with... Listen, if you leave here, yo, leave. You see how I'm mentoring them niggas, they left, they left. Nigga, let, let, the, let, let them go. Go live your life, my nigga. My nigga, you don't... You're not an interesting person. You make jewelry and you paint. Outside of that, you're pretty, but pretty not going to take you that far unless a nigga tricking on you. A nigga tricking on you, better get some pussy up. If you don't give a pussy up, then a nigga just tricking on you. It, 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 it. Like, you're not... <clears throat> it's nothing to you other than that. Other than what I put in you, which was the knowledge. There's nothing to you other than that. You paint. You... You make jewelry. And you're pretty. And everything else I gave you, as far as knowledge itself and you being able to teach somebody something... Outside of that, you have nothing to offer a nigga, period. I'm going to just be all the way real with you. You're not that interesting. Straight up, shorty. I was literally letting you stay around because you had my daughter. I told her this. I'm like, yo, you got my daughter. I never fuck with a, with a chick like you ever. You got my daughter. That's why I let you stay around. You feel me? Like, I used to tell her that all the time. That's the only reason why I fuck with you because you got my daughter. You're not that interesting. You're not that intellectual. You're not that interesting. Your mind is like, you know what I mean? The way, I mean, look at what you're doing. I'm the truth. You know the knowledge, but you're too weak and you're too jealous. So you're in your emotions about it. But you can't stop thinking about me. You can't sleep at night. You have to smoke weed to go to sleep. She told me that, like, yo, I couldn't sleep. Every time she leave me, she can't go to sleep. She losing wild weight. She can't go to sleep. She keep. And we all know that every time that Velvet left, and Lee Hill Bishop, aka Nature Boy, aka Three God, took to the internet to try to manipulate her. Every time she leave me, she can't go to sleep. She losing wild weight. She can't go to sleep. She keep thinking about me all the time. She ain't nothing else to think about. Every nigga you fuck with, it's gonna be comparing him to me. Cause I raised you from 19 to 23. I, you, you under my, my, my understandings and my teachings. Where the fuck can you go? You can't go nowhere. So for you to lie on me is crazy. That's crazy because you mine. You mines. Cosmically, you're my property and my daughter belongs to me and you belong to me. But we'll wait it out. We'll see how this time goes. This is like the sixth time you did this. Sixth time. We'll wait it out. Let's see if you stay away. Since I'm not going back no more. Bitch, you not going to get a nigga better than me. Ever. I want to see this shit. Y'all watch. Well, no matter how long it takes, watch. Remember when she was on the line with, um, with Omac? Oh, I know I got the right man. I'm on the line with Ro Omac. Driving in the car with him, talking all that yim yam. Remember that shit? Don't forget, nigga. Don't forget when she was in the car with Omac talking that yam yam about me, da 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 da, and I'm this, and I know I found my soulmate. What? Dude, y'all seen this shit over and over. She starts painting, she's gonna start making jewelry, and then she's gonna destroy her own world, like she's trying to destroy mine. It was she doing. This is why I attracted it because um, I attract people that are hurt, harmed, because I try to help them. You know what I'm saying? And it's all good. I'm not monogamous. I'm not monogamous. I tried this shit. I tried it for my daughter's sake. I tried to be with you. But Eliana, Velvet, you're a little girl. You're not interesting enough for me. You're not. You can't hold my attention enough for me to feel like I could be with you. If, if, if I'm monogamous, it's because a woman is super duper interesting to the point where I'm just like so interested in her. I cannot think about nobody else but her. But I haven't met that woman yet. I haven't. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm online every day uh, expressing my thoughts in my mind because I haven't met a chick that I was so interested in that I, that I, I, I just was compelled to just always be with her. I just I haven't I have yet to meet one and she knows that and that's why she's mad because she's in love with me and she wants me to love her but I can't I can't give you all of me because you're not that interesting you're not enough for me and I told her that I said you're not enough for me so I have to make up for what you don't have with another woman period you need to find somebody that you're enough for but guess what there will never be another man 
in this whole fucking existence that'll be enough for her, period. Because she wants you to be me. She wants you to be me. And if you're not me, then she, and any man that's like me thinks like me. Any intelligent man that's like me, he's going to put her. This must be where Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Nature Boy Jr. got his rants from and got his ideas from because he damn sure, as soon as Velvet left him, he damn sure went on a rampage on the internet, y'all. Y'all should check out my videos of Solar. He talking a lot of big shit about Velvet. And any man that's like me thinks like me. Any intelligent man that's like me, he's going to put her through the same thing. So it doesn't fucking matter. If there is a man out there that's as, as intelligent as me, he knows that polygamy is the way. If, he, if, if you are going to build your own world and you're a god, and you're a god, you're going to go get your own land, you're going to build your own world, and you're not going to be a part of society, then you have to have as many women as you can to mate with so that you can make a lot of babies for your fucking, for your nation. That's fucking duh. That's what gods do, duh. Why the fuck would I limit myself to one woman and then what? Okay, I limit myself to one woman and then who's my daughter going to sleep with? Who's my daughter going to mate with? I'm thinking strategically beyond my just having one baby. One baby, no, I need to have multiple children. I need to, have, I need to be that kind of nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So I have, and even if I was to be with just with one woman as my queen, she would have given me concubines. I would have to have concubines. I, my, the way I'm set up is different. I'm a king. I'm not like you guys. So she needs to go back into Babylon and get those experiences she needs so she can see that niggas ain't shit. Niggas will cheat on you. At least I kept it fucking real with you. And it was in your face instead of it being behind your back. I let you know who I was fucking and you knew who I was fucking. These niggas out here ain't going to let you know shit. They're just going to fuck behind your back and make you think that they wasn't going to do it. Because once they find out you're a little ass girl, a little insecure girl that no one else can see this shit. It's like you hit, you hide it so fucking well. Once, once a real nigga you fucking with find out you nothing but a little ass girl. Once he done fucked and sucked and did whatever he want with you he's gonna figure out who you are and once he figures out that he's gonna be bored with you like i was i was bored i you're not that interesting you're not you're not that interesting you had my daughter that's why i hung on to you if you didn't have my daughter i would never deal with you ever period i wanted to be a good father to my daughter and i wanted to work and make it work for me and you for it to work for me we had to be polygamous and that's how it fucking worked that's it. Without that, you're not that interesting enough to be with by myself. Absolutely fucking not. You're a little insecure girl that tries to trap somebody in the world so that you can be get all the attention from them so that you can fulfill some void you had from your daddy issues. Motherfucker, I'm a b beyond that shit. I'm not going to sit here. And I told you that. And we know that you have daddy issues with your own father because that's public. So you're looking for a daddy, my nigga. I ain't got no time for that shit. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I do have a loving heart. As mean as you think that I am, I have a super loving heart, bro. And I, I be over giving people like on some G shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like I be overextending myself. And I be doing it for weak people. And the weak people be doing weak shit, making me look crazy. But it's okay because that's a part of the journey. When you're a powerful person, you attract. And I'm by no way am I a victim of anything, my nigga. I'm just telling y'all truth. Like I told you, I decided to take this journey. I decided to, to, to deal with the people that I deal with. And this is what comes with the things that I've done. And taking her from OMAC, when she wanted to be with me from OMAC, that was probably the biggest mistake I've ever made. Because at the end of the day, I look back now and I'm like, yo, I should have never fucked with Shorty. And that's, this is my karma. You know, I take. Now, that's one statement I will say is true that Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God Made, he should have never did that to Omac. Omac was his friend. Yo, I should have never fucked with Shorty. And that's, this is my karma. You know, I take full, full responsibility. I'm not pointing no fingers. I want y'all to know the fucking truth. I told this chick to her face, look, you're not good enough for me. You're not. You're not enough fucking woman. Your mind is not that interesting. You do not interest me like that. You're a little girl. Like, you need to grow the fuck up. I'll be playing my music. She don't know the music that I know. This bitch is like 23. Like, you know, like I be in my groove. Like, I be in me. Like, I'm a whole thing. You you just developing. You feel what I'm saying? And so her mother said it. Her mother told her mother said it loud, and this is what triggered her. Her mother said it on live when she was on live with, with motherfucking Sybil. She said, Yo, um, 
Velvet don't know. This man been around the world. Velvet don't know how to how to. Velvet's a little girl. She doesn't know how to keep this man's mind. She nailed it. Her mother nailed it. She said, and not Eliana was listening to her. Velvet was listening to when she said that, and she knows me and her already talked about it. This is why she really left, because in the interview with Sybil, we was watching that interview with her mother. I was like, yo, your mother online? She bugging? What's she doing? But in the interview, her mom said some shit that I already said to her, and it triggered her. I told her, like, listen, the only reason why I'm with you is because you got my daughter. You're not very interesting to me. I wouldn't be with you if it wasn't for my daughter. If you want to leave, you can go. She said she didn't want to go. If, uh, nobody trying to hold you here. You feel me? I do want my daughter in my life. You feel what I'm saying? But nobody trying to hold you here. Like, I told her straight up, like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm too real to be fake. I'm too real. I tell you the real deal truth, nigga. I'm too real. That's why I get in trouble, because I'm too fucking real. So I said to her, like, listen, you're a little girl. And I fuck with you because you have my daughter and that's my responsibility. So both of y'all are my responsibility. So this is why I deal with you. Outside of that, me and you can never get along, my nigga. I'm a thorough nigga. I'm a real nigga. And she's she's a lame. And I'm I'm be honest with you, Shorty's a lame. A lame. When I say lame, lame. You feel me? A, she be on some lame. I, I don't care if it's a nigga or a chick. There's people that are corny. They're just fucking corny. They're lame. They not they don't they're not interested and don't got a lot of stuff on them. And the niggas around me be on some lame shit. I'm me, I'm just being straight up with you. Like I was a thorough nigga in Babylon. I hang with thorough niggas, my nigga doing thorough things. You feel me? Like I was always a thorough nigga. And some some niggas is just lame. They just L7. They squares. They SpongeBob's. They never been through trouble or had no trouble or been through things in life. Shorty ain't been through nothing. She a lame. She a square. You, you know what I'm saying? You, I've been through everything in life. Like her mother told her, I done traveled the fucking world. I have a lot of substance to me. Shorty, like, so for me, and I'm not trying to like, like, like talk down on you or nothing, but I'm just being all the way real with you. You a lame. We happen to have a child together. I just want to handle my responsibilities and keep you in my life and take care of you and take care of my child. You feel me? And I want you to be a part of my legacy. So this is what we're going to do. You feel me? I'm going to do it like this is how I explained it to her. And I always told her that in her face. I always told her straight up what it was. You feel me? But she didn't like that when her mom said the same thing I said to Sybil in that interview. That's what made her want to leave. When she heard her mom saying this man, it's like the devil was speaking through her mom. Because it well, the truth was speaking through her mom because her mom kept it all the way gully. Her mom was like, yo, go back and watch the interview. With Sybil and her mother. She said, this man is, you know, he been around the world. He been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? My daughter ain't been through nothing. And, and she heard that part. Like, that's what we tuned in on. And it was like talking to her and saying the same shit I said to her. And it's, it, it is what it is. I'm only thinking about my daughter, my nigga. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Velvet is a lame to me. She's a L7 lame. It's not interesting at all. It's not something I need to cry about or be mad that she's not with me. Go fuck with her and you'll see that she's a lame, my nigga. If you a lame, maybe y'all too. Like her and Omac were two lames. That's why she like Omac because that was her speed, my nigga. They, the niggas a lame. He's a lame. When I say a lame, I mean like a nigga that ain't got no, you know what I'm saying, ain't got no swag about him. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't got no flavor with him. And niggas that got flavor, we do attract a lot of lames, my nigga, because niggas that's lame trying to get flavor too. They trying to get, they trying to get a little flavor and learn how to get flavor from you. Matter of fact, motherfuckers that got flavor, got swag, attract a lot of L7 niggas around them. You don't believe me? Look at the artists today that got swag. Around them is some L7 niggas. No matter how tough they be acting, they be hanging around some L7 niggas. And if they hang around gangsters, they gonna wind up in prison. Straight up. So they start hanging around L7 ass niggas. Look at Diddy. Diddy is successful. The only reason why he succeeds, he hang around L7 ass niggas, but Diddy's from Harlem. So you got to understand, you got to level yourself up in the game. You can't be hanging around goons and shit like that because that shit will get you in trouble. You feel me? So I'm not hanging around with goons and crazy niggas doing crazy shit. I'm a spiritual teacher. So guess what I'm going to attract? I'm going to attract niggas that's not a threat. That's not a harm. Lames, nigga. L7s. Now, everybody around me is an L7. Niggas never been in trouble, never been in jail, never, ain't no gangsters, that's not what's around me, it's L7's around me because I'm a cool nigga and I'm doing something positive, 
But I'm from the fucking hood and I've been through a lot. I done traveled this world and fucked all the bitches. I done did everything you think you do. I, I'm, I'm up on game about everything in the whole fucking universe. So I'm putting these little niggas up on game. But shorty, you not on my speed. I already told shorty that. Like, you not on my speed. I don't fuck with you. My spirit don't fuck with you. You feel me? Your mother, the, your mother to me is like... You know what I'm saying? Like some a shorty that I would fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Not even nah, I wouldn't fuck with her mama like that. Nah, nah. She's too fat, but she can give me a, she can be my sugar mama or something. Like, ah, get some money off of her, lay some pipe on her, get some money off of her. Cause her mother liked me too. Her mother is was in love with me. She used to tell me, like, oh my mom think you handsome and all that. Da 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 da. Cause I'm Now I know he lying. I know he lying. I know Selena did not tell Velvet that. Is it was in love with me? She used to tell me like, "Oh, my mom think you handsome and all that." Da 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 da. Cause I'm tall, dark, and handsome, and that's what they like out there. And a nigga that know like a nigga that ain't a lame like me, you feel me? <laughs> you know, bitches crawl over me. They crawling all over me. They love me. They love to listen to me. Like you see the bitches, they be fascinated by the way I run my mouth. They be sitting around listening like, "Damn, yo, that's crazy, yo. How this nigga think? I like this nigga. I don't know why I don't like him. But I heard the rumors, but I like his son about this nigga. I like it. It keep him stuck like glue." You feel me? They they stuck like glue because I'm a... You know why? Because I'm a thoroughbred, nigga. That's why. I got swag, nigga. Because I'm... You can, I got a soul, motherfucker. You feel me? And I ain't no lame, nigga. Velvet a lame, nigga. You feel me? Just looking for a nigga with some swag to motherfucking understand who she is. Like, it be niggas that be lames. It be chick that's lames. Chick that's lame is... You know who a lame? Sybil's a lame, my nigga. As soon as we got locked up, she was... <laughs> the fuck wrong with you, bitch? Calm the fuck down under the pinch. When you get pinched, you supposed to calm the fuck down and chill. When we get pinched by police, bitch, don't start acting up. Calm the fuck down. One time I'm with Velvet, right? We get we getting ran down by police in Mexico, guns in our face and everything. But you know me, I done been through this shit before, so I stay cool. I talk to I talk that meat, I meet, I like, yo, yo, Poppy, let me holler at you. Which one of y'all know speak English, yo? Nah, I'm not going nowhere. What you talking about? It's my house. Y'all niggas is out of Let me see the paperwork. I'm, I'm talking to them like this, but they got guns out. They like, yo, trying to see if we human trafficking and shit. They got guns. They like, sit right there. They don't know. I'm like, all right. So so Velvet, like, they telling me that we got to go with them. I said, you ain't going nowhere. Chill the fuck out, shorty. Like, relax. You do what I tell you to do. I'm your commander. She like, okay, but I'm scared. These people telling me I got to go. I'm like, listen, what I tell you, shorty. Calm down. You feel what I'm saying? Relax, baby. Chill. And she was so scared and nervous. I'm like, look at this chick right here, man. I'm, I'm like, come on, man. You got, you got to be cool in the pinch, my nigga. We getting pinched by, the, by, the, by them bulls. You got to calm it down. You got to chill out, shorty. So, you know what I'm saying? She, she, she like, oh, no, I oh, don't know. I'm like, yo, yo, yo. You had to talk to the Mexican niggas like, yo, listen, man. Me, I ain't, we ain't going nowhere without my wives and my daughter, man. I ain't going nowhere. You ain't about to take... I had to tell these people, like, yo, y'all not about to take my wife and my daughter. Y'all not about to kidnap my wife and my daughter, my nigga. We going together. Everybody going to go, but we going to go together. If y'all don't like that, y'all can shoot us in this bitch. And everybody looking at me, like, in carbonation, like, damn, like, yo, chief. I'm like, nah, nah, it's not that it's chief. It's just that, first of all, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about dying, number one, because I done died before. Number Wait a minute. Did Elio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, just say that he died before? I'm going to have to run that back, y'all. Oh, no. I'm like, yo, yo, yo. Y'all had to talk to the Mexican niggas like, yo, listen, man. Me, I ain't, we ain't going nowhere without my wives and my daughter, man. I ain't going nowhere. You ain't about to take... I had to tell these people, like, yo, y'all not about to take my wife and my daughter. Y'all not about to kidnap my wife and my daughter, my nigga. We going together. Everybody going to go, but we going to go together. If y'all don't like that, y'all can shoot us in this bitch. And everybody looking at me like... In carbonation, like, damn, like, yo, chief. I'm like, nah, nah, it's not that it's chief. It's just that, I, first of all, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about dying, number one, because I done died before. Number two, I'm a man. And I'm, I'm, if you're going to do your, I, I respect the law. I respect the officers. And they, they wanting to know what's going on. But you're not going to violate. Come on, man. You ain't going to just do whatever y'all want with us. I know we black. Y'all going to have to get bloody in here, man. Like, so they, they wind up letting us all go. And Velvet, once everything was done, she was like, ah, ah, ah. yeah, comp, yo, sh yo, chill the fuck out, yo, relax, shorty. When I tell you to do something, you do it in the pinch. That's why I talk to her like, yo, chill out, yo. 
You feel me? Relax. And so she around a real nigga now, so she she learning how to move, you know what I'm saying, with with situations, certain situations. You feel what I'm saying? And um, it's just a lot of times that I've seen that shorty is, you know what I'm saying, she's not on my level. Like, you know what I'm saying, we got a child together, but shorty, you a lame. You a lame, my nigga. I'm not sitting here talking dirty. I'm just being all the way honest with you, bro. And I tell us to, I tell us to my own daughter. Look, I'm, a, I'm from some, I'm, I'm cut from a different cloth than your mother is. You understand? I'm from that. I'm really from that, nigga. Nigga, see me in the street. I'm relaxed, nigga. You feel me? I'm from that, nigga. Like I know how to handle situations. You feel me? Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm an alpha, nigga, in all situations. I done been through shit. I'm not no lame. Like don't know how to respond and. You know what I'm saying? And doing me like, nigga, come on, man. I'm the realest nigga out there that you can meet. The fuck is you talking about? I'm one of the realest niggas. You, I'm one of the most honest, most intelligent men you can ever fucking meet. In your, I'm fascinating. My mind is fascinating. I can open up the universe for you. But I got a dominant spirit as a man supposed to have that knows he's a God. There's no compromising with God, with the laws of the truth. The truth is the truth. It's objective. All right, y'all, go on ahead and drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Thank you guys in advance. And when you have that truth, there's no arguing it. It's just demanding it and commanding it and teaching it to those that want to teach. I don't got time to argue with stupid niggas because I'm right, nigga, because I'm, I'm actually right. N you'll catch on one day, nigga. I ain't got time for that shit. And that's my spirit, the spirit of truth, the spirit of div divinity is in me, nigga. And, and, and when you a man and you hold true divinity, it empowers you and you hold and, and you and it's something in you. It's a spirit in you that won't let you fold. You dominant. You're going to be dominant. It ain't going to be no compromising and, yo, okay, and maybe, you know, that's my whole problem in this whole journey has been me compromising. Compromising with things that I already fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be nice when I know I'm a fucking God. When you a God, you say stuff, it gets done. You command it, and it gets done. That's why I always win because, let me tell you something, I'm in tune with the universe. I'm not in tune with y'all world. Y'all world is over. I already told you what your world is. I broke that whole world down. Anybody that follow me know who I am. You know how I broke that whole fucking world down. I'm not sitting here playing no games with nobody, doggy. You feel me? Velvet is not on my level. And anybody that, that follow us, any real bitch know that. That's a little ass girl, my nigga. I had her around because I was trying to take responsibility for my daughter and take care of my daughter and raise her to be a real one. I want my daughter to be a real one. You understand? I ain't want her to be no L7. I want my daughter, even if we went through these things together, I want my daughter to know, like, yeah, your daddy was a thorough nigga, nigga. Yeah, we been through shit. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all living with the y'all living within the boundaries of your, your your slave master. You don't know real life. I was trying to show her real life and show her what the reality of the situations was. You feel me? It's my job to speak this broadcast before you sleep, motherfuckers, so that you are now guilty of sin. You listen to my voice and you hate me because you hate yourself. But what I'm telling you is truth, divine truth. And you might not like my root, but I come from where you come from, nigga. And that's why all the real niggas feel me. They don't know why, but they like, yo, I fuck with this nigga. I fuck with, I fuck with his spirit. Because that's dumb. I hold they spirit. Every real nigga that's locked up, every real nigga that's, that, that was never a part of this shit, that was always rebellious, yeah, they fuck with me. They fuck with me because they think like me. It was funny. I got a little story for you. When I was with Maisha... And um, she had this crazy ass cousin, man. He was always locked up and shit. And nigga heard that I had, you know, went upside her head. And we had little, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to come at me real quick, right? But I had to explain to him on the phone. We had talked. He a gangster. He, he from the streets. Real nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And then, you know, a couple of months later, this nigga went to jail for going upside his woman's head. And I was like, yo, okay. <laughs> nigga, like, I know how it is, dog. Because... Real men, we don't like to go back and forth. Yo, your shit is my way to highway. That's how real men are. They are used to these docile men, these bots out here that be like compromising with them. I'm not compromising nothing. The fuck is you talking about? I've been living my life way before you came over, shorty. I already got a whole belief system. Who the fuck is you? Bitch, you better bow down if you're coming to me. If not, leave me the fuck alone. Why is you bothering me? Huh? Fuck is you? Why you keep coming back to me if I'm dangerous? If I did all that stuff to you? If I harmed you like that? Why is you online? Get offline. 
you online because you missing daddy. Because that's all more you know. I'm all you know, shorty. I raised you. You see what I'm saying? All I was trying to do is raise my daughter. As soon as we met each other, she got pregnant, so I try to hold it down. But listen, man, I got other kids, man. You feel what I'm saying? This shit ain't the first giddy up for me, man. I done been through this shit. It's just public. You feel? All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True, many of you know him as True. He is an ex-carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy, and I love this book. You know what I'm saying? I've been through all this shit. I know how to respond to all this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, a chick be bitter. You know what I'm saying? Trying to throw out there like you did this and did that. Yeah, bitch, you just want to be accepted by these trolls. Now you accept it. They got your back now. You ain't need to do that, though. All you got to do is start talking. To her. She didn't need to come out and do all that. She just did that because she's jealous. And she, she did that so that she can minimize how many people would be like, bitch, you phony. Let me put you on game. She knew that if she came out, she didn't have to do that. But it would be people that was in the comments like, bitch, you ain't shit. Fuck you from a Malia fight. But now she played to the emotions. She got most of y'all so she can go live and she can, you know, get attention and shit. That's what she wants. She want attention because her dude she fucking with, the little rapper nigga, skinny nigga, Beck or whatever. I ain't hating on him. He doing his thing. Shout out to him. Peace to him. I ain't, I ain't got no problem with another man doing his thing. You feel me? My bitch over there. You know what I'm saying? My daughter over there. That's all good. Like, do your thing. Do your thing. You feel me? Like, I ain't even I ain't even wetting that. You know what I'm saying? I've been here. It's not the first. I got four babies. This is my fourth baby mom, my nigga. You feel me? So, and I, I and, and, you know, I counsel a lot of niggas that go through a lot of shit like this. Niggas is constantly saying nothing new niggas go through. Niggas go through this shit all the time. It's just light work. Slight, you feel what I'm saying? It's how it's getting done, though. So, you know what I'm saying? She fucking with that nigga, and he's online doing his thing. He's online. He's able to express his art. He's doing his music. He's online, and she wants to be able to express herself, too, because she's always in competition with the niggas she fucking with. She always have to be in competition. Instead of her going to support this nigga and living in his world, and, 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 and nah, she got to come and do her thing. So what you're seeing right now is her in competition with the nigga. She can't just go over there and support the nigga music and be with him and, and you know what I'm saying, just be in his world, whoop de woo and stay off a line and just support the nigga. She got to have her own thing going. So she have to come first, kill me, and say all the shit she got to say about me. And the next thing you're going to need to see is Mr. Beck. Mr. Beck going to pull up. She already, he already in her story. He going to pull up, and now they going to be together. That's she just setting it up for that. It's the old, you know what I'm saying? I see the whole shit. It's lame. It's lame. You feel what I'm saying? I see your moves. I'm like, that shit is lame. You ain't have to kill me out. And talk that crazy lying shit on me when niggas know who I am. I ain't never had to lie about who the fuck I am, doggy. Never have I had to lie. Now watch what I tell you. She's in competition with the nigga she's fucking with. The nigga's making music. He's doing his thing. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? And now she's in competition with him because she's an Aquarius with a cap with a fucking um cancer moon in the tenth house. And she's got a lot of Aquarius in her chart. So she's like a nigga. Like, she's come off like a female, but she's trying to be in competition with a nigga. Like, she be jealous. She's slick jealous of the nigga that she fucking with. She'll find a thorough nigga and start. This when she was with Omac, she used to always, this before Shorty was mine. She used to be with Omac all the time. I used to be like, why is you always fighting and competing with Omac? Omac is an artist. Because I told Omac to paint. Omac never painted in his life till he met me. I said, Omac, you should paint, man. Paint, man. Paint, nigga. He like, oh, okay. He started painting and it looked good. She like, I could paint too. And they used to be arguing. Her and, her and Omac used to be arguing over who going to paint and da 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 I was like, yo, calm the fuck down, yo. But he said that da 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 just little, little kid shit. You know what I'm saying? A little lame kid shit. You know? And I used to be, I'm like her dad, man. I was like her father, my nigga. It's not a, it's not a, yo, y'all, y'all. 
And that statement in itself is a little disturbing to me. Because if Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, really looked at Velvet as his daughter, why was he sleeping with her? I was like her father, my nigga. It's not a, it's not a, yo, y'all really got to understand the dynamics of the relationship, bro. You feel me? It's not like, oh, this is the love of your life. Yo, chill out, yo. And I know I put it out there like that because I was trying to like, uh, as publicly, I wanted to put it out there like, yo, Eliana, because she had my daughter, was my empress. Like, yo, here you, but that wasn't her shoes. You could tell it wasn't her shoes because I need a thorough bitch by my, by my side, just as thorough as me, that believe and think like me, that ride and know been through some shit with me. You feel me? That's when y'all really going to believe. That's when I'm really going to be powerful when a bitch pull up just like me that's in agreement with me. She ain't got to submit to me, but she know how to play her fucking part. A female me, nigga. That's what I'm looking for. A female me, a thorough bitch. You know what I'm saying? I've been through some shit. Know how to hold it the fuck down when she speaks. She, she, she's strong. You feel what I'm saying? She, but you know what it is. She'll never do that to a real nigga. From she, cause she, cause she from the street. She got a code about herself. She got that code on her. You feel me? It's a different. It's, it hit different. Cause she from that. She done been around real niggas. You feel me? She was raised around real niggas. Probably had some brothers, whatever, that hit the streets. She know how to roll. You feel what I'm saying? She know how to handle certain situations in a clutch. But I ain't got that yet. You feel me? I ain't got there yet. You feel me? Probably ain't got there because I've been dealing with what I've been dealing with, so he's been in the way. So, you feel me? I have thought about the whole situation and, and how, to, how to better, you know, position myself to receive that for myself because I love myself and I deserve that. I deserve a chick just like me, thorough just like me, that go hard just like me, you feel me? And even that girl going to give me other women. She going to make sure because she want to, it's our bloodline. Fuck is you talking about? I'm a god, you a goddess. We came here to create humans, nigga. What the fuck is you? We create, we came here to create humans, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? We came here to drop this knowledge and create hu humans to make this world a better place. The fuck? I came here to drop this fucking knowledge, knowledge itself, and make better human beings on this planet, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> You dig? So, yeah, ain't no jealousy. This is a mission. You got to be married to the mission, but she wasn't married to the mission. You understand me? She had the knowledge. I taught her all the knowledge and all that. Woo -woo -woo -woo. But she want, She has a thing with her father, where her father didn't do her right or some shit. And she wants a man to give. And mo a lot of women are like this. And what I learned is that Nana represents a lot of women out there that just wants a man to just pay attention to totally them. Just everything them. Everything them. Give me all of their attention. All bitch, I don't got I don't my fucker. My shit ain't all right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as well as my commentary. Please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Guys, I want to give a big shout out to all of my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies. Y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself. We in the building with it.